How do we know if something is truly only a coincidence? In the words of the Nobel Prize winning physicist Percy Williams Bridgman, coincidence is what you have left over after you've applied a bad theory. This means we should think twice before brushing off events as just coincidences. It's just a thought that makes you look differently at the stuff that happens in our day-to-day -day lives. Those moments we're quick to label as mere coincidences. Have you ever felt like something had a special purpose or meaning behind it? Like it was trying to tell you something important? The world is much more than what you can see with your eyes alone. Many things beyond your physical senses can have an impact on you. Many people believe that the universe can communicate with you in various ways, not just through your eyes, but through intuition, feelings and signs. Greg Lavoie beautifully captured this idea by saying, when you're on the right path in life, the universe has its own subtle way of acknowledging it. He described this as the universe giving you little winks and nods just to affirm that you're heading in the right direction. The fascinating part is that once you start recognizing these small, cosmic hints and realize that you're indeed on a specific journey, these clues start appearing all around you. It's like suddenly becoming attuned to a frequency that was always there, but you're only now beginning to tune into it. Synchronicity has been defined by Carl Jung as unpredictable occurrences of meaningful coincidence. Synchronicity refers to unusual and meaningful coincidences linking the internal and external worlds of the individual. In essence, synchronicity experiences reflect the coincidence of events in space and time as meaning something more than mere chance. In 1952, Jung published a paper explaining that in the same way that we can connect events by cause and effect, we can also connect them by meaning. Synchronicity happens when there's a meaningful coincidence, and we find it when an event in the world coincides meaningfully with a thought or feeling in the mind. This often happens when you're thinking of something, and then almost instantly you notice something else that's connected to what you were just thinking or feeling. It's the universe's way of communicating with us through signs, symbols and events. Clinical case studies have demonstrated that an acknowledgement of synchronicity is beneficial in therapeutic settings, as well as in understanding career pathways and processes. Yet, systematic empirical findings regarding the prevalence of this phenomenon and its association with meaning in life and well-being among non-clinical populations remain underexplored. Moreover, Assessment tools suggested to explore this phenomenon have failed to reflect the full range of the experience. So why does synchronicity happen? Carl Jung didn't see life as just a random series of events. Instead, he believed it reflects a more profound order. Jung proposed that we're all part of a vast network, providing a sense of unity with the universe. This concept isn't just something to ponder over. It's akin to a spiritual awakening. He likened synchronicity to dreams, suggesting its purpose is to nudge our conscious mind towards a greater universal consciousness. Jung acknowledged that coincidences happen, but he also pointed out that some are so meaningfully connected and so incredibly improbable that they defy logical explanations. That's why he believed we shouldn't just brush off synchronicities. Instead, we should pay close attention to them. For example, if you dream about someone and then unexpectedly encounter them the next day, Jung would encourage you to ponder the significance of this event. What does their sudden appearance in your life mean? What message might this be conveying? By delving into these questions, we venture beyond the tangible world, touching upon a deeper, hidden order in the universe. This perspective suggests that life and the universe itself might be viewed as an extraordinary coincidence one that invites us to look for deeper meanings and connections. Pythagoras, the ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician, had a revolutionary vision. He believed that everything in the universe is interconnected through a fundamental numerical structure. This concept posits that numbers are not just tools for counting or measuring, but are the very essence of the universe's fabric. In Pythagoras' view, numbers held a mystical significance and could explain the harmonies and patterns found in nature, music, and the cosmos. His philosophy suggests that by understanding numerical relationships, 
one could gain insight into the deeper workings of the world and the universe. Rumi captured this intricate nature of life beautifully by saying, what you seek is seeking you. Rumi's words remind you that the universe is working to bring you what you desire, just as you are working towards it. This realization might be hidden from many. Nikola Tesla, the visionary inventor and scientist, held a profound belief about the universe. He saw it as being fundamentally interconnected through a structure of numbers. Tesla saw numbers not just as mathematical constructs, but as intrinsic elements of the universe's design. Tesla's perspective suggests that these numerical structures create a kind of universal harmony or pattern. When synchronicity occurs, those meaningful coincidences that seem too timely or relevant to be mere chance, it could be viewed as an expression of this underlying numerical structure. Essentially, Tesla's idea implies that there's a deep, interconnected web of meaning woven into the fabric of the universe, revealed through numbers and their patterns. This interplay of numbers and synchronicity offers a unique lens through which we can view the mysteries and connections of the cosmos. When synchronicity happens, it's a signal that something important is going on in your life. You have to figure out what it means as it's up to you to interpret its message. So it's like a meaningful sign that you shouldn't ignore. Synchronicity is about how your feelings, thoughts and dreams are connected to what happens in the world around you. The key to that is awareness and interpretation. Like a dream, a synchronistic event presents a riddle, a clue about the individual's emotional or spiritual state. The event becomes a mirror reflecting the dynamics of the unconscious mind and offering an opportunity for growth or change. One needs to be attentive, open and willing to delve deep into the meaning behind the event to unravel its significance. This practice of interpreting the synchronicities could be likened to reading a secret language and deciphering codes that lead to a better understanding of oneself and the world. It encourages you to be open-minded, to see beyond the surface, and to believe that there is a greater plan at play, guiding you toward your highest fulfillment. Synchronicity often shows itself in the magical moments of serendipity, meaning finding something good without looking for it. When you stay present in the present moment and let go of trying to control everything, the universe surprises you with wonderful gifts. One of the most common ways synchronicities occurs is through repeating numbers. These numbers have a way of showing up during times of change or emotional turmoil. Imagine you're in a complex phase of life, like contemplating a career shift or navigating a complicated relationship. Suddenly, you start seeing the same sequence of numbers. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 23, 32, everywhere. On your phone, a car plate, even your receipt totals. It sparks more than curiosity. It feels like the universe is communicating. In numerology, numbers are linked to intuition, spiritual insight and guidance. Their repetition, as in 444, amplifies their meaning, often seen as a call to awaken to your inner wisdom or be alert to new opportunities. For many, encountering these sequences of numbers serves as a nudge to remain mindful and centered, particularly amidst the hustle and bustle of life. While skeptics may chalk it up to our brain's natural tendency to seek patterns, the emotional impact and the uncanny timing of these numbers frequently go beyond straightforward reasoning. This points to the possibility of a deeper, more meaningful force at work. Have you had a recent animal encounter Crossing paths with a butterfly, wolf, deer, or cat can be a significant sign. While contemplating a change in life or a fresh start, you might encounter a butterfly. This could be seen as a sign to embrace change and new beginnings. Cats are seen as mysterious and magical creatures in many cultures. An encounter with them could be interpreted as a sign to trust your intuition and embrace the mystery of the unknown. How about the times you're grappling with the aftermath of a breakup, filled with questions and doubts? Suddenly a song that mirrors your exact emotional state comes on the radio, almost like a cosmic nod of understanding and solidarity. Dreams are powerful signs through which synchronicity can occur. Ever had a dream that felt like a message so vivid and specific? 
Picture dreaming about a long lost friend and then out of the blue they call you the very next day. It's like the dream and reality are in sync, a perfect example of synchronicity. This is when our inner thoughts and the external world seem to unexpectedly connect, leaving a profound emotional impact. In regards to that, lucid dreaming is a fascinating phenomenon where you become aware that you're dreaming and might even control the dream's narrative. At first glance, it might seem unrelated to synchronicity. However, both phenomena invite us to delve deeper into our consciousness, exploring the fine line between our internal experiences and external reality. While synchronicity connects meaningful external events in a dance of coincidence, lucid dreaming allows our conscious minds to explore and influence our subconscious world. Together, they serve as gateways to a more profound understanding of our mind's capabilities. Albert Einstein envisioned the theory of relativity, one of the most significant scientific breakthroughs, through a dream. In it, he was sledding down a steep mountainside, going so fast that eventually he approached the speed of light, which led him to the theory. The best-selling author Stephen King has often cited dreams as a source of inspiration for his stories. For instance, the idea for his novel Misery came to him in a dream while on a transatlantic flight. The famous surrealist painter Salvador Dali often used his dreams as inspiration for his artwork. He developed a technique called Paranoia Critical Method to tap into his subconscious and bring dreamlike images to his art. Otto Lowy dreamt of an experiment that would prove nerve impulses are chemically transmitted. The next morning he performed the experiment he saw in his dream, which led to his winning the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. James Watson dreamt of a spiral staircase, which helped him conceptualize the double helix structure of DNA, a pivotal moment in the field of genetics. Keep your mind open to these moments and trust your intuition. Synchronicity can open doors to incredible opportunities and forge meaningful connections with others. It's an invitation to broaden your perspective and embrace the challenges of your life. It nudges you towards considering the possibility that your life is guided by a higher purpose and intelligence. Aligning with synchronicity can deepen your appreciation for the interconnections in all things, sparking awe at the unseen forces shaping our journey. If you're still here, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you for your support and the insightful thoughts you've shared. Your comments are genuinely inspiring, and I eagerly look forward to hearing more from you as we continue on this path together with love in our hearts. Thank you for giving your valuable time, and I wish you an amazing time on your life journey. Follow your heart and be blessed.